And that's when you go ahead and take a really hard cut back door and they need to control the glass. That is going to be where the game is won. The tip featuring in the paint, there's nowhere for her to go. So she has to settle for that 10 footer. This is a Nebraska team that hit 15 three pointers against Illinois, starting things off at Dizzy Bourne. Four rebounds and four assists last night. Inside to Kaiser, she will finish over Markowski. An amusement park waiting to get on the roller coaster, and she has been patiently competitive. Widener looking like a running back through the paint. Side to Hillman, well placed pass and one for Nas Hillman. Half players in her space. Look at Nas Hillman and her ability to hold off the defense. And her name is also all over LeBron James' Instagram page because he loves to give her some respect and give her her flowers. Jack Shelley battling for that basket. Sprint yesterday offensively, changing speeds terms of her offensive firepower. Nebraska on the run again. It's Widener pulling up. She has been playing with so much confidence. Ten seconds left for the Wolverines offensively. They trail 11 to 5. Felia kisses it off glass. Says that they missed her presence the first matchup. They missed her presence. She was out with an illness. But now they have an extra scorer on the floor. But now on that particular play, they need an extra defender. Michigan head coach Kim barnes Rico was not happy with the way her team defended in transition. She said, we have to establish ourselves on the defensive side of the ball, then our offense. Nebraska with the basketball again. 13 on the shot clock. Annika Stewart getting earlier minutes than she did yesterday. Knocks down the first three she sees. And it's just so much fun to see the interworkings of motherhood and being named coach of the year. She's getting the job done at home and away from home. Lateral footwork there defensively. <laughs> You'd love to see that connection. Monica Stewart, two for two from long range. Nebraska assist on eight made buckets. But look, a little pin down. For Hillman, too, dragging her far outside the paint. Brown, a difficult oh. shot. It rattles through her patented wow. move as she celebrates with the bucket. Of Nas Hillman, who had fouled out with 40 seconds remaining in regulation, but that's when the team found its confidence. Nelson Widener knocking down a three for Nebraska. And no surprise, Shelley has been handling that pressure with a plum. They do get the turnover, though, this Michigan defense. Rouch down into Cameron Williams, who puts it up and in. That's stolen away on the pick and roll. Kaiser losing it. Hybe now stepping through. She's got it for two. Markowski and Hillman are battling inside. Three-point play for Maddie Knoll. Well, that's the scramble I'm talking about. You have two on the ball, two people that can be one pass away, and you gotta rotate. Daniel Roush behind the back and takes it to the right. There's a different sense of urgency on the faces and on the body movements of Michigan. Snowman can't get the bucket. Michigan within three. Bella Cravens was on the ground last I looked, and then she's scoring on the other end. Five seconds to go. Bob into Hillman, a difficult spot. And she gets it at the buzzer. Nothing. And Annika Stewart with two as well. And now Michigan can take the lead, and they do off the hands of Leah Brown. Stewart scoring inside the first half. Highlights and analysis, and we'll get you up to date on a busy quarterfinal day in the Big Ten Tournament. That's coming up on the State Farm Halftime Reports. Rochelle is that transfer from Oregon. Kaiser's going to have to put it up, and it falls through at the buzzer. What a second quarter for the Wolverines. She thought they did a great job in the first quarter coming out and attacking. The second quarter, Michigan was able to get the Huskers on her heels. She wants her team in attack mode just like that. 
And hybe has got it. Shelly stepping into it in rhythm. Nine three-pointers yesterday. Jazz Shelly, the do-everything player for the Huskers. And, and Nas Hilton, the do-everything player for the Wolverines. And knocked in three threes last night against Minnesota. Kaiser through the middle, slicing through for an easy it when that happens because that's a life lesson. Snatched away by Shelly. Huskers hoping to get her involved offensively, even through her assist as Widener scores. Not looking like a freshman out. Push the tempo. Nolan, difficult pull up, it rattles through. She's a leading scorer for this team at halftime with 10. Brown putting it on the deck, driving hard. With two fingers down to the floor. She's animated. And you may think she's calm, cool, and collected, but she's got a fire in the belt. Monica Stewart. Felia having a hard time. Four seconds left for Leah Brown. She loves that step through, and especially when it falls like that. Just super crafty right there. Not giving up on the play when you're first denied. Michael Payton, long distance three. What an upside for Layla Felia, the freshman from Michigan, number five. There she is. Stepping into that three, she drains it. Layla Felia, 10 on the clock. It's Kaiser, the long two falls in. Nebraska will have the final. It's going to come down to making great plays happen. Layla Felia knocks down her second. It's a big second half for the freshman. Threes on both sides of the floor for Layla Felia. Bella Cravens fired up for a three-point play for the Huskers. Amy Williams has been animated on the sideline in this second half. As Felia goes in all the way. Bounces out. Looking for that shot that's going to silence this crowd. Felia attacks A baby, a freshman. Another freshman tried to answer back. Shelly hoisted, hoist another three. Oz Hillman doing a great job defensively, trying to limit touches. Justin hands off to High Bay, leaves it too strong. Shelly into Hybe to ignite. Felia rattles that through. She has taken command in this second half. And the leadership of Hillman and Brown did it earlier this season when she went down with a lower leg injury. She told Layla that you need to step this up, and she did. Something happened with two seconds left, and just like Leah Brown does. Impressive now. Here come the Wolverine fans up on their feet again. Ivy on the cut from Markowski. She'll lose it. Upset at herself for that. Sending Nebraska on the break. It is Ryder finishing on the left side. Competing chance in this arena. Hillman cleaning up the glass. Wow. The urgency of Nas Hillman on that play was amazing. Ivy answers right back a three-point. Brown weaves in. And the rotation and Markowski fighting for the rebound. Same play, trying to get Markowski down the paint. She goes right at Hillman, and Hillman knocks it over. As Izzy Bourne on her, who has four personal fouls. Markowski gets the tie-up. Possession arrow right here. Starter Izzy Bourne dealing with early and significant foul trouble. How about the freshman? A quick foul by Nebraska. 
it into Kaiser. She's just going to throw it up with several seconds left. One tenth left. And Nebraska will move on to the semifinals, make room for the sixth seed. They will take on Iowa for a chance for the championship game on Sunday. Oh,